Yes, uh, shock, anger and disbelief here in Spain today as Luis Rubiales has refused to resign despite a growing chorus of condemnation for his actions in the World Cup final. Now, our sources close to Rubiales told us that he was even preparing his resignation letter yesterday evening. But when the time came, he stood up and gave a, a bizarre speech of denial. He painted himself as a victim, saying that he was a victim of false feminism, that this was a kind of social assassination. He called it a witch hunt and insisted that the kiss with Jenny Hermoso was consensual and mutual. He called it a peck that he would give one of his daughter that he would give to one of his daughters, his daughters who in fact were here in this building behind me when uh, Rubiales gave his speech. Now Jenny Hermoso herself has not pronounced on this issue, but her players' union, the FootPro union, did call for appropriate sanctions. It was uh, bizarre in many ways, uh, Robin. Rubiales talked about uh, an explanation, a detailed explanation about why he grabbed his crotch in celebration before the full-time whistle when he was in the presence of Spain's Queen Leticia and her teenage daughter. Now, despite all of this, he's still uh, refusing to resign, and this could be a, a long and drawn-out saga, as even Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez says that his position is now untenable. So what does this all mean for uh, women's football in Spain? Has it overshadowed uh, their victory in the World Cup? Well, I think that's the saddest part of this ordeal, really, that we're talking about Luis Rubiales and not these amazing women who achieved something great. They won Spain's first ever uh, Women's World Cup. And rather than building on that success and inspiring a new generation of, of young women and girls, we're talking about Luis Rubiales and all of the time and resources that will now go in to what is said to be a, a prolonged battle. Today, we heard uh, a growing number of voices, a lot of anger in response to this speech we heard from two-time Ballon d'Or winner Alexia Puteas who said that this is unacceptable that this is the end we could see player boycotts moving forward uh, a lot of uh, criticism all across the board people like David De Gea who, who say who tweeted that ouch my eyes are bleeding when he was watching this extraordinary press conference now of course it's a terrible look for Spain also who have a World Cup bid in for 2030 that's a joint bid with Portugal Morocco and the Ukraine. Of course, when you have an icon of the women's game, like, uh, uh, like the well-known Megan Rapino criticizing the top person in your football federation, that's never a good look. So much more to come on this story, Robin. Ken, thanks very much. Our correspondent, Ken Brown, in Madrid.